Okay, I've gotten a lot of messages and a lot of comments over this doll. I know people don't like dolls, and now that she moves, it makes it makes it even worse for you guys. And I get it. But why do I have Twinkie around her? Animals are more in tune to things than we are. If there was something bad with this doll, Twinkie would not go near her. My dog would freak out. You know, they're, they're more in tune to that stuff. Now, here's the deal. Hasbro put her out in 1965. This was way before I was born. My dad had bought her for my sister. My sister didn't like her. I loved her. I don't know how old I was the first time I saw her when I was born, but my dad waited till I was old enough and gave her to me when I could appreciate her. Um, I got the concept. You know, Hasbro put her out. The concept was she was an orphan. She had a burlap dress. She had a teardrop. Her hand was designed to look like she was begging. She was a little girl that needed a home. And I understood the concept and I felt bad for her and I love her. Um, her eyes are big like that in design because Margaret Keene was an artist and that's who they based the, her eyes off of. She used to draw, I guess, or, or paint large eyed children and animals. And that's why she looks like that. She's not supposed to be scary. She's supposed to look sad. Now, if you've been around long enough, you know, my dad loves Twinkie, even though he's passed on, we've gotten his image in Twinkie's cage through the bird room glass. Um, and I heard how a medium tell me he likes to hang around Twinkie. I think it's my dad. So that's why we're not scared. And that's why Twinkie's not scared. 